Okay, so after I made a fool of myself in the last video, hopefully I can redeem myself in this video. Uh, let's quickly see how would we go about solving this one. Well, I want you to notice that it, it in the previous one we had it really simple. We had already factorized greater or equal to zero, but we didn't have this thing in front. In front here we have a negative 20. But we have to remember that it is very simple to get rid of that negative 20 and make it look just like it did before. All we need to do is divide both sides with a negative 20. Now remember, when I divide with a negative, I have to swap my sign. So I'll have x minus 1, x plus 20. Okay. Now I'm dividing with negative 20, so my negative 20 is uh, divided away on the right left-hand side. But on the right-hand side, I now have 0 divided by negative 20, which is still 0, which is why I can divide with it without complicating my question. But my sign, notice that my sign swapped because we know with inequalities if I multiply or divide with a 0, sorry, with a negative, uh, my sign has to swap around. Okay, And now it is as simple as it was before. You can do it by inspection, which I'm not going to do. I'm simply going to continue to do this with a parabola. So I'll draw a rough parabola. There you can see is my rough parabola. All I need is an x-axis. It doesn't matter which goes uh, where it lies on this x-axis. All I need is the two roots. This, um, the two roots would be negative 20 and look, look, I got it right this time. Um, x is equal to 1 or x is equal to negative 20. How did I get my two roots? I just made each of the two brackets equal to zero and I solved it. That gave me my two roots. So I want my graph to be smaller than zero. So I'm working with the bottom half of my parabola. That means I'm using this curved, uh, the inside curve of my parabola, that part of my parabola. I'm not including zero. So which x values does that mean am I working with? Well, I'll just go and see which x values. It's the x values between the two roots. So it's the x values between the two roots that's going to solve that for me. Okay, which means that x is smaller than 1 but greater than negative 20. Come on, that is really so simple. Now, I'll I'll complicate it a little bit, but just want to show you that in the beginning, we could have from the beginning just done this, used a negative parabola, okay, because there's a negative a in front. My roots would have still been negative 20 and positive 1, okay, but the difference was now we'd be working with a greater than 0 sign, which means I'm working with the upper part. But now, because it's, as you can see, it's the whole thing has just been flipped around. So I'm still using the same portion of my graph, which is the one between negative 20 and 20. So just to, sorry, uh, one shouldn't be included. Between negative 20 and 1, these values are being used. So x is smaller than 1, greater than negative 20. Now, um, as you can see, if if maybe you didn't see, maybe you just forgot you can divide away the negative 20 and then change the signs, you could have just drawn a negative parabola. You still have the roots, okay? So that would have been just as simple. Uh, all I want to do now is just uh, quickly draw the solution, okay? So we'd have a number line, blah, 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 blah. At some point we have negative 20 at another point we have 1 and we want to go from and not included from negative 20 from negative 20 not included to 1 also not included and we just highlight everything in between now wouldn't you know it it is this is actually if you didn't have the parabola you would have already drawn the solution right here so if you want you can just do everything in pen except the parabola and coloring in and then in the end just once you know which part of the graph you're actually using you can just use an eraser and, and erase the um, the parabola that you drew in pencil 
and uh, then you have the solution already drawn cool that's me for now i hope you enjoyed it and uh, that, that uh, you have confidence in being able to do one of these in the next couple of videos i'll do a few more of these a little bit more complicated just showing you that the basic idea remains the same i'll see you there